The final update from the original Trackmania trilogy was just released. The most important addition is of course the Return of the Desert car from previous Trackmania titles. It's much bigger than the stadium car, and its main gimmick is that it's prone to flipping over when steering on almost every surface. You may be prepared for that if you spent some time with the previous original cars on the wood, and I found this car to be overall a bit more forgiving compared to them. Don't get me wrong, sharp turns may cause you to slide or slow down a lot, but they are perfectly manageable at lower speeds. The second main characteristic is how overpowered wiggles are on slow surfaces like sand and penalty grass. On ice, the car turns much slower, but you have some control over it, and if I'm not mistaken, you can do a little ice slide just like with the rally car. The last unique interaction is with plastic, which makes your car unable to flip, but still slows you down your seat fully. Also, is it just me, or should such a big car have some more weight and not flip that much on the slightest bad landing? Keyboard players may once again be disappointed to see its reliance on smooth steering, but it seems much easier to do than the rally car, which forced me to use action keys on the controller to make the driving experience enjoyable. The new car is of course accompanied by a new campaign, which in my opinion, based on playing half of the maps, holds up as a good introduction to the key interactions of the vehicle. Though, I find it a bit funny that one of the tracks was mistakenly added twice, which should hopefully be fixed soon. In terms of new blocks, the biggest additions are a few smaller quarter pipe blocks for every surface. They aren't anything groundbreaking, and you should be used to them if you ever draw on custom block state blocks with a swapped surface. The most important new decoration blocks are those big cliffs for the three main surfaces the game offers. You can view the whole list of other blocks added on the screen or in the description down below. In terms of other fixes and changes, we got a decent amount of fixes to building blocks, as well as a fix to the car switch gates. More specifically, the removal of the Uber car switchback, which launched you at high speeds if you angle your car one specific way while going through the gate. Other changes include a fix to buggy camera 7 switch during the match, the replacement of the rally car with the desert car on the main menu, and a fix to analog devices not reaching 100% when smooth steering. And that's about it for this update. Even though it's smaller than the previous updates from the trilogy, it still adds a decent amount of content, and the addition of the desert car surely added some more depth and replayability to the game. What are your thoughts on the update? Feel free to share them in the comments, and thanks for watching.